Is your kid struggling with worried thoughts, anxiety, and you're looking for quick, natural, but effective solutions that help tamp down those uncomfortable thoughts, sensations, and feelings? Well, you're going to want to listen to this episode. Hi, I'm Dr. Roseanne, and I'm a mental health trailblazer. Join me today as we have real conversations about real solutions to kids' problems. And today we're talking about EFT tapping, which is an amazing technique to help tamp down anxiety. So let's dive in. So you might have heard of EFT tapping. You might have even seen it. It's this thing where we We tap along meridians to help lower our stress, but you might not know anything about it. So EFT tapping came out of thought field, um, and it's a technique that is based on ancient principles, but it's combined with cognitive behavioral where we tap along meridians um, that are known to calm the body, right? These are acupressure points, um, and we use statements that address our negative thoughts. And we say them out loud and we combine them together. We're calming the nervous system. We're addressing our runaway thoughts. (laughs) And, you know, it's so easy to get into a fight, flight, or freeze mode and with compounded stressors. And kids, as we talk about all the time, are not immune from that. And I like EFT tapping. I've been using it, gosh, um, since probably about 16 or 17 years ago is really before it was really a big thing before the tapping solution by the Ortners came out, who happened to be my neighbors um, on my street when I grew up. Um, You'll have to listen to uh, an episode that I had when I had the parent coffee talk with Alec Ortner about it, how I almost ran him over with my car. And, um, (laughs) but that's a side note as always. But, you know, EFT tapping is a great technique for us as adults, and it's great for kids. And I'm going to walk you through the nine-point tapping method, but I'm also going to walk you through a modification if your kid is too distressed or too young to do it on their own. Um, EFT is one of those types of things. We incorporate it therapeutically in psychotherapy, but I have always used it, you know, I've used it, like I said, before the book came out um, and I used it for myself. When you get stressed, uh, I can tell you the number one place that I use EFT tapping is when somebody won't get out of the passing lane. Yeah, it's my number one petty, petty annoyance. I find myself getting irritated and I'm a human being and there's things that get on our nerves. And I, when I feel myself like or I hear myself, because really I'm using potty words, like, why are you in this effing lane and this, that? Yeah, um, I can get pretty, pretty irritated when, I don't know, not even when I'm in a rush. I feel like it's very discourteous. That's what it is. You really want to get on my nerves. It's about being discourteous. Um, when you hear talk about people being accepted into our brain behavior reset program, you know, how courteous people are, not how stressed out they are, how courteous they are is a factor, right? So I only work with nice people. How about that? <laughs> um, I just feel like rudeness is never acceptable. It's never acceptable. So EFT tapping helps me when I feel triggered or anxious. And it's just, um, it's very accessible. It's free. You just got to do it. It's like, I always say, it's like the treadmill that you have in your basement that you got your clothes on. It's not going to work unless you get on there. So it is a wonderful, wonderful therapy. And so let's talk about what it is. So first of all, you want to pick one issue, one thought, one stressor. We're not going to attack everything all at once. And what you're going to do is first, you're going to check on your subjective units of distress. It's called the SUDS level. Um, And they have another video on SUDS and what it is, and you should learn about it. But basically, from a scale of zero to 10 or zero to five, even better for younger kids, Um, or any kids, you want to say zero to five, what's your stress level? Five being the highest, you really want to gauge where it is, okay? And um, we start with that, and then we do three rounds, either on one point, two points, three points, whatever you can do, or the nine points. And we we want to work through those nine points three times, then we check our level again, we want to make sure it, it went down. 
um, if it didn't get to a more comfortable level or a level when certainly if you're not out of fight, flight or freeze, you're going to keep doing it until you're able to do that. Then you do another three rounds and you keep going until you are able to regulate yourself. Um, and you can do this with one hand, two hands. I don't know how people do it on two hands. No way. Not going to happen. And you also can tap on your child. When my little guy was so distressed with pans and he had Lyme disease and um, he had, you know, brain swelling was really uncomfortable. And um, at different points, he was just a hot mess. There's no other nice way to say it. And I would just tap on him, tap on him, tap on him. And I would tap on myself because I was so freaked out about, you know, what is going on with this kid? Why is he like demonic possession. Uh, we didn't, we didn't know back then, you know, 15 years ago, we didn't know as much as we do now about the connection between infectious disease. Um, it doesn't matter whether your anxiety is real or imagined. Um, please know that um, EFT tapping has some nice research about it. It's certainly a newer treatment. Um, we it's been shown to be helpful for anxiety, um, pain, PTSD. There's a lot of nice uses. Um, some people hate it. They do. And that's okay. Then you need another type of treatment. Usually they don't like the, the awkwardness of it, or I should say the setup statement. So the setup statement is going to be something like, even though I have this worry, even though I am scared about whatever it is, I love and accept myself, or it's going to be okay. That's just it is. Um, I like to say it's going to be okay for kids because they like that. They need to know it's going to be okay. Uh, that's the name of my book because that's what I tell all the parents I'm gonna that I work with that it's going to be okay. So let's talk about how to do this. So you say say to your kid, "Okay, Becky, you're a little stressed right now and you're crying. Okay, zero to five. What number are you? And just show me with your hand. Okay, I'm a five, mommy." Um, and okay, so we're going to tap on it. That's what I always say. We're going to tap on it. So if a child is really young, right, you can do one point, um, which could be just what we call the karate chop point. I love my clavicle point. I honestly just do most of the time, just do a clavicle point. And in my subconscious brain, as soon as I start tapping here, I'm like, oh, I'm getting relief. It does that. And again, it doesn't matter left or right. It doesn't matter both hands sound like a, um, a gorilla when you're doing that, when you're talking. Um, but let's go through and, and do this, let's say, for a, for a middle schooler or a teenager. And you could just say to them, it's a little, it's getting a little funky, but you're going to feel better. And that's what the suds is about. Oh, did you take it down? Yes. You know what I mean? Um, it's like when my kids do neurofeedback and, you know, that I work with and their parents are like, oh, mommy, that helped me so much. When can I go again? It's like my greatest joy because they're connecting to their body and they're feeling relief and they want more relief. It's awesome. So, okay. So really simply, so, you know, even though I have this worry about my test, right? It's going to be okay, right? Even though I have this worry about my test, three taps, I'm going here, then I'm going to the outside of the, the eyebrow, then underneath, even though I have this worry, it's a big worry. I'm going to do great on it. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Even though I have this worry under the arm, it's going to be okay. And you keep doing that three rounds until you get yourself to a comfortable level on a scale of zero to 10. It would be under a four is what I feel like. A three or four is manageable on a scale of zero to five. You want to get it down. Even, even, even if it's down one point and they feel better, that's great. But I like to try to get it down to like, you know, two and a half, two, if possible. But, you know, letting kids know that you're perfectionist people, you want to tell them in advance, if you get it down one point, that's good. Because they're going to be like, I didn't get it down to zero. And kids on the spectrum, make sure you tell them in advance. Even one point is good because I've, I've done this, kids, right? So with a younger kid, again, you could, you could just do one point. You can tap on it for them. And you just want to really show them, like do the suds, zero to five. Um, show them that they're getting some relief. And the ma magic of this is when you say this on the outside and you tap on it, you're going to come down. It's pretty incredible. I mean, we did a lot of tapping um, with people with Sandy Hook survivors. It's, it's, you know, and you think to yourself, you made it through, you know, one of the greatest 
um, tragedies in American history <laughs> um, and or we're in the community and we're traumatized and we have a, we had a lot of 9-11 survivors who then um, were in the community when Sandy Hook happened and EFT tapping benefited them. It can really help you, can really help your kid. So consider EFT tapping. You're going to just do something as simple as this. You can work through the nine points. And if you want to learn more about it, you can go to www.drrosian.com and check out my blog for more info on how to do EFT tapping. Thank you.